What's up guys, RV Tech Pro, special delivery. Got some supplies from one of my vendors, Uline. This is a, it's a Net30 account to get some type of, they, they sell all kind of supplies and, and stuff. Um, all, all kind of stuff, man. So what I got was uh, some red electrical tape, very handy, um, taping off wires, especially when uh, some companies, manufacturers run all the the uh, 12 volt wires the same color or whatever. So when I'm figuring out a mess, I could tape black and red. And then uh, it's also good for uh, and I'm labeling, kind of marking stuff, differentiating one circuit from another. So uh, I usually have like multicolor. So like I'll have like the red, the black, the yellow, the blue, different electrical tape, and I use it for marking stuff as well. Got some gloves. Which, this is a no-brainer. You gotta have uh, gloves. Working on campers, dealing with. Uh, black tanks and stuff. Just wanna check the quality out on them. Cause this is my, uh, I ain't never bought their gloves before. So let's kind of see, see how they, see how they stack up to uh, some of the other brands that I use. Yeah, got them in the box really good, don't they? Okay. Okay. Have to work in them, see if they tear easy or not. Feel pretty thick just from uh, first impressions. So, anyway, and then some air in a can. There's a, a lot of reasons for having that. I won't talk about that right now. And then I got these, which is, let's take a look. This is my solution for, uh, so I was talking about, you know, I bought that Snap-on bit set and it had, a, uh, it had some, uh, it had a couple of, uh, you know, little nut driver bits in it and, and then I got the Tekken set because it was it was a more it was like a more comprehensive set it, was a, it had a more complete set get these things open But they wasn't magnetic. So I was like, ah. You know, it had metric, it had standard, so that was a big plus, but it it wasn't magnetic. And then I uh you know, I was buying just the cheap ones, and then I had some really good ones from another one of my vendors, Kimball Midwest. And what happens is on the magnetic ones, even on the the good USA made ones. A lot of metal shavings and metal trash from little bits and pieces of the fasteners breaking off as you're working with stuff. It ends up getting gunked up in there. On the very cheap ones, the magnet falls out. You know, so the ones you get from Harbor Freight, the magnets just fall out. I mean, you can buy a brand new set, use it one time, and the magnet falls out. You know, it's like they, they stick them on with clay or something. And then the good ones, the magnets never fall out, which is great. You get good use out of them, the USA made ones from Kimball. But they get 
gunked up with middle shavings and then they came out because all the, the middle shavings pile up in there so much to where the fastener doesn't seat properly. So this is my solution to all of that. I got the Malco flip, the flip, uh, nut drivers. So you got two sizes and here's the thing. This thing pops off. Let's see if I could do this with one hand. If not, I'll just set the phone down for a second. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it with one hand, guys. All right. So, what you got going on with these is the magnet is on the anvil side. So it has an anvil side with a magnet pressed into it. All right. So you got a good chance that the magnet is not just going to fall out because it's not just glued. It's pressed in there. Okay. I do also like the fact that, I mean, this is a great set, guys. 3 8 5 16, all on the same, uh, same tool. You don't have to worry about the middle shaving because you can just pull this off, wipe it off, clean. Because one of my questions to you all was, if anybody knows a good way to, to get, clean those bits out after they get gunked up, so you can use them again, let me know. Nobody said anything. So I saw these and I was like, that's the answer. <laughs> you don't clean them, you buy something, you buy these. So pretty slick design. Still goes into your drill, quarter inch shank, and you pick the size you want and simply flip it to the size that you need, push that back in there. Now you got three eighths. So you have, uh, it's a pretty good set because it's metric and standard as well. So you got eight millimeter, 10 millimeter. That's gonna be super handy. You have, well, let's focus here. Six millimeter, eight millimeter right there. Then you have your quarter inch 516, two of the most popular in one bit. That is super nice. And then you have the uh, 516 3 8. So that's a nice little, little set, four pieces. Not really eight sizes because the five sixteenth is uh is doubled up. So seven sizes, four pieces. Great set. That this is a you gotta jump on these guys. This is this is awesome. If you deal with uh, a lot of self tappers, a lot of hex head fasteners and stuff, you want this set. You want this set, um, especially on your. Uh, your ferrous metals, you know, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen an aluminum self tapper. I've seen some stainless steel ones, which are non ferrous. Uh, but most of the times when you're going in with a self tapper, it's going to be a ferrous metal. It's going to be something that's magnetic. And this is an awesome tool that you want to get. I got these off of Amazon. These are made by Malco and, uh, Okay, in this pack, there's like the uh, part number or whatnot. But yeah, guys, check them out. If you deal with these, this is something you want to have. These are awesome. That's all for now. RV Tech Pro out.